Now we see further evidence of the Nazi war machine in action on the Russian front. The thunder of a thousand guns crashes almost without pause. Let no one deny that Germany's military equipment is vast and her resources immense. It's difficult to conceive, actually, of the utter barbarity and brutality of the German attack on the Soviet Union. They went in planning to kill 30 to 40 million people in the first year alone, which they never quite reached, but they did their level best. In the opening weeks of the invasion, the Soviet Union lost more soldiers than the United States would lose in all of World War II. Hitler was so certain Germany would triumph he began planning a victory parade for August in Moscow's Red Square. In these first weeks, we the Russians. By the end of July, Hitler believed that the Red Army had been beaten in the field, that it would be impossible for them to recover before the country was overwhelmed by total defeat. The prisoners numbered more than a million. And this unexpectedly enormous yield of prisoners presented the Germans with problems. I mean, what to do with these people? These people are a race enemy. These people are savages. If we keep them alive, we'll just be storing up enemies for the future. If we leave them in place, we'll be leaving them on ground that has been prepared for German colonization, which has to be cleaned of all these racially undesirable elements, as Hitler described them. So let's just let them all die. 